to close out some of the NWSL news, though, um, we're, we still are like uh, waiting on an announcement, right, Lisa, for mm-hmm. Chicago Red Stars and their head coaching position. Uh, several teams, in fact, every other team uh, that was looking for uh, a head coach to fill that position have already done that. And uh, Chicago Red Stars uh, yet to, to go ahead and, and make this announcement. And this is actually uh, cutting it pretty close. This is actually we're bringing this up just because it's about under two weeks, less than that uh, for players to report to camps uh, for uh, preseason camps and um, still a club out there uh, waiting for their, their head coach to be uh, announced. This is something that is shocking yet also not at all shocking to me. I mean, with all of the coaching turnover that we saw, nine coaches um, will be different from the start of the 2021 season to the start of the 2022 season. Houston Dash's James Clarkson is the only coach that is uh, staying from one year to the next Um But this was a team that had a lot of drama surrounding the initial resignation of Rory Dames in the middle of the night after the championship, after Chicago lost to Washington in the NWSL championship. And then uh, Rory Dames being under investigation for the anti-harassment policy in the league and and a lot of news coming out about him and an investigation. Uh, But the latest that we heard from Chicago was December 13th, I believe. They, They announced that. They are searching and they're interviewing and they have a process set for their finding their new head coach and making sure it follows all the policies and the guidelines set forth for anti-harassment and in the NWSL. And it has players support behind the hire. Um, And Chicago Red Stars at that time said we will make an announcement in January. Um, So technically, we're still in January. But (laughs) as you mentioned, less than two weeks until players report for preseason Who the heck is their coach? Why haven't they announced it yet? Um, This is just bizarre to me because if they have it, it's why not announce it? What are they waiting for? Um, At at this point, it's just becoming odd that we really haven't heard anything on the PR side of things from Chicago. Yes, their Twitter is active in terms of everyday Twitter banter, but nothing official that we've heard from the club. It's really just been crickets from their side of things. And and we talked a little bit about it. Good news is, is or no news is good news a lot of times, but this is just weird that we haven't heard anything from Chicago and we are still waiting on it. It's the last coach um, that needs to be hired. It's the last club that needs a head coach heading into the 2022 season. Yeah, no, I think you, that's the best way to put it. I, I don't, it's not for lack of articulation. I think it's just a fact. I think it's a not an unfair way to put it that it's just weird. Um, you know, you have a an off season. You know where clubs are constantly, you know, in the headlines. And I think your club is coming off of maybe some negative headlines, right? I think you'd want to maybe try to, you know, get in the mix of of having some some you know positive things around the club. And and you know they made the player acquisition. You know the the move with Racing Louisville to bring uh, a player back like like Yuki Nagasato into into the mix and into the fold, um, you know. But this is actually a deal that came to light because this player requested it. <laughs> you know, so this is this is what this isn't exactly like the franchise was out there making phone calls and saying like, "Hey, we need we really want to get Yuki Nagasato back to the club." Like, no, Yuki Nagasato told Racing Louisville, "Hey, this uh, I have a personal event happening in my life. I would like this to happen. See if you can make it happen." And then that's how it came to light. Right. So there's not a lot of player acquisition that they have to hang their hat on if they're Chicago Red Stars. And I think one of the big things that uh, people are looking for, perhaps the the fans of the club that are looking for, maybe like, uh, you know, the the most obvious, which is like, Hey, who's going to be leading the club in 2022. So like you said, um, not a lot coming out, but they did have those uh, few releases uh, on their website uh, talking about uh, who was going to be uh, running the club uh, in terms of the, the interim head coaching uh, capacity and Rade uh, Tanaskovich is, is listed on there as acting head coach for, for the moment. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll, we're, it's just something that we're going to have to keep an eye on. Uh, unfortunately, this late into the off season. And obviously I think if you're, you know, a, a casual fan or a very invested fan, or even a season ticket holder of, of the franchise, it's something that you're waiting on and hoping to, to get, get news on, uh, from this franchise, you know, considering everything they kind of went through, uh, during, 
during the off season. Um, and we'll have to just keep an eye on it uh, until then. But uh, 11 other teams, Lisa, having having their head coaching uh, positions filled. Uh, but into the offseason, it was about eight or so, right? I think that mm-hmm. we were looking at in terms of teams that needed to either uh, solidify, right, their head coaching position. Because there were some interims who were in place where, like, they weren't too sure if this was going to be the coach moving on to the, to the next uh, next phase of things. Uh, and Chicago Red Stars was one of those uh, as well. Uh, you know, got them saying like, hey, like we're committed to Scott Parkinson, Washington Spirit, ultimately taking off that interim head coach off of Chris Ward and naming him head coach. Same with Sean Nahas from uh, North Carolina Courage, took the interim off, just made it official. Uh, Orlando Pride, Kansas City Current, uh, you know, Portland Thorns, uh, and then during or very early into the season, San Diego Angel City uh, naming their coaches as well. And Racing Louisville FC was a, was a team as well uh, in the offseason needing to look for uh, a head coaching position. But all those other clubs have uh, gone ahead and moved forward uh, with that role, um, with the exception of the Chicago Red Stars. And there hasn't been a ton around the rumor mill, Lisa, on this. Wow. Um, there has only been um, some some reporting from Jonathan Tannenwall of the Philadelphia Inquirer uh, talking about something that he heard and that tying uh, uh, Omid uh, Nazmari, I believe, to to the Chicago Red Stars. Uh, but other than that, there hasn't been uh, a ton out there. So, um, And that could be a, a, a multitude of reasons. One of those things, is, who knows, could be processes, right? Perhaps yeah. there's something in the works and it just hasn't been something that's been announced. Uh, but in terms of a, a timeline that they put on themselves, it's, uh, it's counting down for sure. So we'll see next time when we hop into here how that looks.